splashing that much. We're going to scare them again. You splash too, way too much when you cast. Yeah, yep, all right. Well, we got a nice spotted bass. Yeah, spotted. Not bad. One throw. <laughs> First throw for her. Watch out now. <clears throat> or is that a large mount? No, it's a spotted. You gotta work on splash, quit splashing. You you hit the water too hard when you throw. All right, Wilma's first fish and- Look right. at that in his tail. Yeah, it's some kind of parasite. Hold it up for us. Not bad. Look at me. Good. Uh, not bad. These curly tails don't look right. They look smaller than before or something. It's not hard. No, it's not. It's pretty poor. The fish. Yeah, that looks like a mean mouth, but it's not. <coughs> so number two, an oxbow. We've had a, we've caught a lot of crappie here. We just never have gotten one over nine inches yet. We're hoping someday that changes. And there's big buffalo. And a little kid swears there's been a seven pound bass caught out of here. But we're trying for big crappie. I might try for bass a little bit later. And I do hope to get a buffalo one day out of here. It's not a bad little lake though. Was you almost hung? Huh? Oh my god, you got something big, Wilma. You got a big bass. Real big. You got something big. I can definitely say that ain't a crappie. You may have a buffalo. Oh my god, there is some big bass in here. See, we kept coming to this place knowing that we hadn't caught any big fish yet, guys. But I knew that if we tried it long enough, that there was big ones in here. Oh yeah, it's a nice bass. He's easily two, two and a half. Oh man. God. Oh, he's three, he's three pounds. My goodness guys, that's a fat one. Yeah. Man, what a surprise. See, there's some big bass in here. We shouldn't have ever doubted it, huh? Now we like this place a lot more, guys. Yeah, he's easily three. My goodness. That's the one that just got off that earlier. Because I can tell by the way he was swimming. That's what you had. All right, hold it up real good one time for a few seconds. That's a nice bass. Oh, nice. It's really good. That's a good bass. He's easily three. Yep. Man. Yeah, really. Good job, huh? I did too, as big as it was. I'm gonna throw this thing. You can get that. Yes, you can. Let's hold it. Hold it, hold it. It's flat. Really. That's a three pounder it's out of here. Really out of this. Yeah, it is. Oh man, there's another one feeding right there. What a nice bass, guys. Wow. Whew. Yeah, there's another one feeding right there.
Got another big one. Oh my. No, it's a crappie. Yep. Alright, fine. Finally, guys, we got a crappie. It's a miracle. Bass have been biting all day, and crappie haven't been, but we were crappie fishing. Now I'm bass fishing. I switched. Five fish, and I've caught zero. I have caught absolutely nothing. There we go. Bass. Right when I said that, guys. Oh, he got off. Man. I had my drag a little too weak. He was small anyway, but it was still a pound, though. I guess the clown does work. That's the color. Yellow and red clown, they call it. It just has a red nose. My goodness, I had a lot. It was, I mean, it was be the biggest bass I've caught out of here. It would have been. Everyone I've caught has been eight or nine inches. He was over a pound a little bit. Oh, I got hit again. There he is. Got off. So right by the bank. I wonder if that's where you hook yours at, close to the bank. Thing is, he jumped up in the air and then still stayed on and then got off later. Here we go. No bass. Alright guys, I got me a little large mouth on the Storm Smash Head Clown. <sighs> Bass are just going nuts. Crappie are being lock, lock jawed. Strange how one fish will bite one day and then the other one will. Or won't bite at all and then the other one goes absolutely crazy. We've caught five or six bass today and one crappie. Yep, he's not bad. Better. No. All right, guys. Hey. Hey. Guys, they're they're feeding real close to the bank lines, and you get your bite right away. As soon as you pull that crankbait down, is when they're attacking it. He attacked it before I started cranking it down. Did you see it? As soon as it hit the water, he came up and grabbed it. A little better for me, a pound anyway. All right. It's a bunch of them sitting over here. I'm gonna have to try that spinner bait though. Oh yeah, I got a nice one now. Oh yeah, he's easily two. Yeah, maybe not. He's a pound and a pound, just one pound. He just fought harder. He was rolling real weird or something. He really fooled me, but it's not a horrible one. All right, guys, I've been nailing them on this clown smash ad here. Thing's been nailing them. I like it. Really the first time I've ever tried this lure. I've had it in my tackle box for quite a while. I'm stubborn about using the same four or five crankbaits all the time, not giving nothing else a chance. Got him. 
All right, Wilma's on another one. Hopefully, I don't think it's a crappie. He's running like a bass. It definitely ain't a crappie. You got a bass. This may not be big. It's not really been in the pole much. Your line's wrapped around at the end. You need to fix your pole. Yeah. That probably didn't help your situation. You got your line wrapped. Planning on hunting at dark. Oh man, there we go. Oh God, please be big. No, it's small. Why? I thought, you know, with a, I got a three quarter ounce spinner bait on here, guys, and it's really giant. I thought, oh, for sure, only a serious fish will hit it, but I was wrong. Oh well. <laughs> At least it did work, it is working. Too, when he hit it, I thought it was a giant. Until I started reeling it in a little, I could tell he was tiny. There he is. Got it. I got a nice one finally. All right. Yes, it is. Oh. Yes, it's about like yours, pretty dang close. <sighs> yeah, he's a pound and a half, a lot better. Oh yeah, look at that hook set, guys. Big old thick hook right through the top of the mouth. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Not too bad. He's been caught before. You can tell he's got a weird mouth. His mouth ain't even big, it's like a spotted bass. But it's a large mouth, there ain't no spotted bass in here. All right guys, not too savvy. Ain't complaining. Oh man, there we go. Oh, I got the fish of the day now. Oh, he's easily four pounds, Wilma. I'm not kidding you. Oh my God, he's trying to jump. No, nope, you stay down. <clears throat> oh, ho, ho, yes guys. On the booyah, three quarter ounce. Oh my, oh. Oh, he's going for the anchor rope, and he's in the anchor rope. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, he got out of it. Oh, I want you to, I want you to film me here in a second. Okay, here. Yeah. Oh. That's bigger than yours. Oh, yes, insane. it is. Oh my God, guys. Booyah. Wow. <sighs> yeah, it's the same. That's far away from me. Okay. What a bass, guys. <laughs> I seen the I seen the ripple from this fish and I knew he was sitting over there. 
and I just kept trying and trying. That time I let it fall all the way to the bottom and it was dragging the bottom and it, it hit, a, hit some brush and that's what it took. It took it to get his attention. Okay. He's about three. Yeah. It's about the same as yours. We ended up having a good day, guys. I wish we would have came straight here. Now we went to a place before here and it was just garbage. Wowzers, what a nice large mouth. Pretty nice, guys. I knew it was my fish of the day as soon as I hooked it, as soon as I set the hook, because he just started. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this for setting in one spot and never had to move. There we go. Oh man. Right when I just said, I don't think this lure is gonna work. Then I finally caught one on it. I've caught one on everything except the Bobby Garland. I've caught a fish on all three out of four of my poles, guys. That's why it's always important to bring more than one pole so you can just easily switch. Not a bad little bass. Not a giant, but not horrible. My goodness. So there is two nice bass in here now. You got one? Yeah, you do. All right, Wilma's on another one, guys. Nice one. Another nice one. We ain't got a net now, so we're just, you just gotta grab his lower lip. That don't ever grab the lure, just grab the lower lip. All right, I don't know what Wilma's using here. Crankbait or that? Don't let, don't reel it in anymore, just pull it. Oh, he's not real big. Oh, that's a neat one. That's a, all right, hold him up with the lure in his mouth. That's a weird, that's a Berkeley. It's not a flicker shad, it's their other kind. Bad shad, I think they're called. Kind of like a copper, copper gold. Hold, hold him with the, hold him up with the lure so get the good picture with the lure too. Nice little crankbait, guys. Well, you're gonna have to, yeah, have to hold him. There you go, like that. It's bleeding. Okay. I don't know. Oh, no, he got back on. He got off and got back on. I can't believe that he came back for that. That's, that's rare because he was hooked. You wouldn't think. Right in the top of the lip again. Well, that's, that is a good hook on these, but they get dull after you use them a lot. Right in the same exact spot as last fish, as the big one. Right through that center of that lip, guys. Not bad. Ended up being a really good day now. My goodness. Yeah, he's not big, but small. He's okay, yeah. He's definitely all right. Yeah. Now I'm getting crop, now crappie are hitting me. Yeah, he's almost two, or pound and a half. Man. Oh, that's not the same crankbait you was using earlier. That's a bangle, purple bangle or something. I don't see why you switched. That's what you 
Yeah. Yeah. Hold it up for us with the guys. We're just slaying them, man. We didn't even intend to fish for bass today. Can you hold it up sideways? We didn't even intend to fish for bass today whatsoever. It turned out to be a largemouth day though. We came for crappie. Luckily we had our crankbaits with us and our spinner baits with us. If I would have only brought crappie jigs, we would have been screwed guys. There we go. Yes, crappie. I got the Bobby Garland on. I just figured I'd try to catch a few and see if there's any bigger ones this time. All right, guys, I got a white crappie on a gold and white flaked Bobby Garland. <clears throat> I figured I'd try to catch a few. I guarantee the crappie are biting better now. It was just the time of day. Yep, now I'm getting them every throw. This one's bigger. Or not. This is like the white bass at the one place. Everyone's the same. All right, guys, another crappie on the Bobby Garland again. I'll take crappie every throw because I will eventually, if I keep doing this, I'm going to get an 11 or 12 incher. Here we go. I think so. My God, they're pathetic in here. But, oh my God, very first one. Black crappie. That's a black. That's Guys, we've caught over 100 crappie out of this lake and not once have we ever seen a black. Weird. So there's, huh. Well, even they're small though. I just got hit. Just got hit again. There he is. Oh man. No slouch either. He just didn't hit that hard. Oh guys, I wanted one last fish before we left and I got it. He ain't the one I'm after. I wanted a five pounder today, but still did had a good day. We caught probably 14 bass, 13 or 14. Half of them were pretty decent ones too. Better than them river spotted bass. Whew, all right. He hit it twice and it felt real small. In foot, in one foot of water, guys, because me and her caught red ears back there. It is one foot deep. And he was in it. Goodness. 14 bass. Man, he inhaled that thing, too. I mean, big time. All right, guys, not a bad bass. I caught a couple, I caught a couple that were over a pound anyway, besides the three pounder. Man, there is a little bit of potential in here anyway. There ain't a lot of them, but if we got a three, there probably is a four. And that kid may not be lying. Oh, it's like... yeah, it's near my yeah, I know. Oh, that's a nice one again. Don't use that crankbait here, though. That's for walleye. That's for walleye. I know, because it drops down. All right, hold it up with the lure in its mouth. Quit using those expensive crankbaits in places like this. Get it over the canoe. 
You gotta push your button, push your button. Guys, Wilma got one last nice large mouth before we left. Hold it down. There we go. Man. <laughs> He's a two anyway. Well, guys, that ends our day. Had a pretty dang good day for just coming to get some small crappie. And then it switched around on us. We ended up changing completely over to largemouth. Caught two three pounders and a couple twos. They was hitting any color and anything. We caught them on probably eight different lures. Well, until next time, you know what to do.